good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are uh, as you've seen gonna be looking at calves that got out uh, we let some calves out yesterday just had the gopro with me got a little bit of footage of them coming off the trailer so today we're going to put the drone up try and get a wee bit of footage of them just how they're doing uh, we'll talk about the the batches of them that we have outside and all that uh, so that is that'll be coming up next a little later in the video we're going to be looking at a new olight product that is out uh, they've sent it out for me to review and have a look at and we'll have details of the new next sale that is coming up uh, which is starting this evening so uh, yeah we'll have a look at that as well um, before we get going I suppose just the, the usual don't forget if you're not already subscribed to the channel please try and do that it does help the channel in, uh, in, in its growth so if you can subscribe to it I would be eternally grateful uh, leave a like comment down below all that kind of stuff all helps uh, with the channel's growth so if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and do it. Cost you nothing. So, all right, let's get this drone up. I'll do a little voiceover over the bit of footage I take of the, the cows and calves outside, and we'll see you back here in a few minutes uh, to have a look at this new Olight light that's been sent out to me. All right, so voiceover on this part of the video. We'll have a little look at uh, just a bit of footage I took as we were letting cows and calves out. So you can see majority of the cows and calves have all run off over to the other batch uh, but this little calf just decides to stand here and survey the situation. Bit of a shock to the system. It's a bit different than being inside in the shed. Uh, but he does run off now in a second, even though I don't have the footage of it. Um, lovely spring uh, spring day here for letting them out. Uh, conditions couldn't be, uh, couldn't really be any better. Um, there's another bit of footage of another trailer load. We're just taking three cows, three calves in each trailer load. Not to overload it too much. Uh, cows know the deal. They know what's happening. They're glad to be out. Uh, calves... Just a little bit slower just to pick up on what's happening. Uh, it's, all, it's all new to them. But, yeah, they have acclimatized very well, uh, really. Uh, conditions, as I say, could not have been better. Uh, it's been quite mild in the evenings uh, or at night time, and that has played uh, into our hands. Uh, this guy here, he was one of the calves that was coming backwards, so he's a little bit slow on his feet here when he was getting out. A little bit stiff, but he has... Uh, in 24 hours he was running around the place so it's it's great to see them outside it's uh, it, it really does the calves good to get out and uh, get get moving properly and um, so this is the other batch I do take a wee bit of drone footage of both batches but this is the first batch that we let out um, and they're all just kind of huddled down here along the ditch this is actually the field where I took the footage uh, of the 3650 spreading slurry so uh, that's a number of probably about a month ago so uh, the grass is greened up nicely uh, you can see the green spot here uh, right up to roughly where the cow is standing and then over to the left of that where the slurry didn't hit uh, it's quite yellow so yeah, the slurry uh, has done its part but yeah as I was saying cows are doing very well um, we've, we have been lucky with, with how the weather has been it's been lovely and mild we've had no rain uh, and then at night time, as I said there, it's it's nice and mild too. So uh, it just it's given the calves a good chance to, to get acclimatised to being outside. There's nothing worse than when you put them out and there's a big temperature drop on the first day or the first night. Um, and a calf maybe gets sitting along a ditch and he gets a little bit of a chill. And next morning he's head down, ears drooped and he's feeling a bit under the weather. And you have to try and round him in. Him and the cow back inside, and uh, they're back inside for a few days. So, uh, yeah, they're they're doing really really well, and it's great to have them outside. Um, yeah, I think I just kind of come back out now with the drone, and I do a little bit of a, a scan then over, uh, just looking at the kind of the landscape now in a second. Um, yeah, but there's there's nothing better than seeing the cows and calves out this time of the year. Uh, you can see now just off uh, to the that's over towards Falk Hill which is close enough to us here uh, and Sleeve Gullion uh, and the mountain range just beyond uh, and almost into Dundalk there on the right hand side so uh, yeah that is batch one so back now to the batch uh, here beside my house uh, <sighs> calves are doing well there's lots of shelter in, in, in this field here there's a couple of good ditches where they can lay under if the, there's a bit of a breeze or anything so uh, it's ideal. There's also, you can see a puddle of water lying there which runs in off the road and it's kind of waterlogged there the whole time. We're going to have to do something with that in the future. Um, but, yeah, cows, you can see already, uh, the dung is starting to fall off them and the hair uh, and they're only out a couple of days, so that's nice to see as well. Um, but all calves are, are doing well. Uh, the little calf here, the little dark calf, 
he is actually the last calf born and uh, that was the St. Patrick's Day he was born and what we done with him was uh, he was it was a lovely day St. Patrick's Day and of course when no parades are on uh, the weather is fantastic uh, we just made sure that he was got his drink in the cow okay and everything was all right tagged him and let him straight out and he is doing fantastically well so uh, that is uh, that's great to see too um just gonna come down now close to a couple of calves here uh, quite happy out enjoying the sunshine uh, and wondering what is flying over their heads uh, i do often wonder if you left the drone down uh, close enough to a cow would she would she have a bit of a go at it i imagine that she might do so uh, i don't uh, tend to let it down too low and um, but yeah great great to see it lovely to see uh, it's a real sign of springtime and uh, couldn't be any better so yeah that's it i'll just let it play out the last bit of the video and uh, we'll get on to the next part of the video then All right, so just before we get going, uh, Olight are running a flash sale. I'll say it here now at the start of the video. There is a flash sale starting tonight, 8 p.m. March 18th, and runs right through until 11.59 p.m. on the 20th of March. So you've got a couple of days now to make a purchase on one of these lights if you are interested in them. Uh, as always with Olight stuff, uh, they have lots of, lots of deals and bargains going on now, but if you bundle up a few lights together, uh, it always helps on the price. Uh, keeps it down. Uh, I've also got a discount code Jerry10. I'll get 10% any of the lights that aren't on sale. All right, so we're going to have a little look at this new light that Olight have very kindly sent me out to uh, to show you. Uh, so this is their latest product. It is the Olight Baton 3. It's the premium premium edition. Um, yeah, this has got some wireless charging going on, which we'll have a little look at. So a little bit different from what the usual. Uh, the usual Olight uh, Baton series. Uh, we'll see now if we can get this out. So let's see what we have here. Uh, so it comes in a little plastic bag uh, and it is all boxed up in this uh, this little wireless charger. So uh, light is hidden inside in it. So you can take the light out. Uh, it is fully charged now at the moment. You can see there's a little green light on it there uh, when you put it on just to say that it's charged. So small handy little light the baton uh, and this here is a charger so you can uh, charge it up just from your wall connection uh, you put the light in charge it up uh, and then you can use your light uh, light goes dead pop it back into it wireless charging on the go so uh, very handy little article uh, now i think from uh, what i read you can actually use this here then connection uh, and charge your phone or charge another product of it. So it can be used as like a little power bank as well. So very useful little uh, little article. Uh, these lights are small, but as always with Olight stuff, it does pack a punch. So you can see it's bright in here at the minute, but you can see how bright that that little light is. Super little light, super little pocket light. Uh, there's lots of different settings on it. Uh, I think there's five different settings on it altogether. And uh, of course, then there's uh, there's strobe and uh, yeah, there's moon as well, which is one. I think if you hold it down, it brings on this little one called moon at last. All the, the times is here on the back of the box. Yeah, so all the settings is here on the back of the box. I don't know whether you can just see them or not. A uh, turbo setting is 1200 lumens for the last 75 minutes. Got 166 meter throw. Uh, 300 lumens then is the high setting, 95 minutes uh, and an 80. 2 meter throw, uh, medium length, 60 lumens, low 12 lumens, right down to 0.5 of a lumen from the moon setting and that'll last 20 days, so uh, yeah, if you're in a lot of trouble you could be using that. Um, yeah, all the details then is there as well for the the, uh, the little uh, on-the-go charger, uh, a little battery pack, 
uh, all the length width, you know, the whole lot is there on the back of it. So if you're interested, you can get onto the website and have a little look at that and see if uh, it, it's something that you would be interested in purchasing. Uh, the light itself, as I say, super little light, great light out of it. Uh, as with all uh, Olight products, well built, well made and well designed. So. Yeah, so some great deals going on now on this on this light at the moment. Uh, this light here, which is known as the Battery Premium version, uh, you can purchase it in black or red, uh, and that works out at usually it's ninety nine ninety five pounds sterling, but it's at sixty four ninety five at the minute, so or sixty four ninety seven, and uh, so that's thirty five quid of a saving on that. You can also get it in the blue, which is usually one hundred and nine, and it is reduced down to seventy. So. Uh, 71.47 so again another 40 quid off that roughly um, yeah you can also get premium version combination pack we can get the black and the red both together and they are uh, usually 199 you can purchase them for uh, 129 so uh, as always the more you purchase the cheaper it is uh, I'll put all the details in the description below so you can go down through it or just click over on the uh, there's also going to be an affiliate link which is also going to be just here in the bottom of the uh, this video in the description click in through that and that'll take you to where all the deals is anyway and you'll see what is on offer um, and by clicking in through that link if you are purchasing something uh, I get a very small percentage of whatever you spend so uh, it helps the channel out as well uh, there's also, if your light or something that you've been thinking about purchasing isn't on sale at this time, you can use uh, the Jerry 10 discount code. So it gets you an extra, it gets you 10% off whatever you're going to purchase, which is always a good help. Um, and yeah, so you can go down and just check all that out and see. I don't think there's anything else I need to go through here. I'm just looking through it. But yeah, uh, Olight make fantastic lights. I've uh, been promoting their stuff for about a year now and love all their stuff. So. Yeah, if you're looking for a light, get down there below, check it out, uh, see if that's something that suits you, and uh, you can make the purchase. So, uh, that's really it. Short enough video today, nothing too major. Uh, we will be doing a bit of slurrying over the next few days, and what I will do is... You've disappeared, I can't see you. What I will do is... Uh, yeah, I'll get the drone up, get a little bit of footage of uh, just spreading the slurry, and uh, yeah, I'll have that up then in this weekend's video and uh, we'll have a chat and see how calving is going at that stage as well. Uh, it has slowed down a little bit, which we are quite happy with uh, because the last three weeks have been quite hectic. A lot of calves have been born, a lot of work with them and uh, it'll allow us maybe to just get uh, a little bit of the field work done now that is coming up. Uh, we'll have spraying to do. There will soon be fertilizer going out on silage ground and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Looking forward to doing all the all that kind of work as well. Uh, but great to have calves out. Takes the pressure off. Bit less bedding. Bit less straw being used. And uh, as you can see, the other side of the 3650, we're down to the last little bit of straw. So the less straw we're using now at this point, the better. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I said earlier, if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the sub button. Leave a like in the video. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. And we will see you over the weekend with the next video. Thanks again for watching.